I just bet my buddy Leroy $1,000 that I could build a brand new tech startup from scratch in 60 minutes with less than $50. If he wins, he gets the cash, and if I win, he gets to be my free assistant for an entire week. And yes, you guessed it, I'll be building the entire thing with no code tools. Let's go. Now, first things first, if we were gonna do this, we needed to set some ground rules. So after a little bit of back and forth, we came up with these rules. Number one, I could come up with the idea before coming to the challenge, and it had to be a tech startup. It couldn't just be like an e-commerce store, for example. Number two, before I actually jumped in to start Start building I had 30 minutes to start some preparation work and number three I had to do it alone which completely blew my plans to hire people on Upwork and Fiverr by the way and of course the product had to be live and buyer ready before the end of the 60 minutes and with those rules in place my friends we had a deal but of course in the back of my head I was already planning some of the loopholes that I had figured out that I'd be able to use throughout the challenge let the games begin it had to be a product that was simple enough to build in 60 minutes and had to be fully monetizable within that time frame, which means that I couldn't build like a deep tech startup, for example. And of course, the first thing that came to mind was to use a proven model so I didn't have to completely reinvent the wheel. So after a couple minutes thinking, I landed on the idea of creating a two-sided marketplace, kind of like Airbnb or Upwork, that would connect businesses with AI experts. And the main outcome for companies was to quickly come up with an AI plan for their business and have the tools and know-how to pull it together. The product itself would allow you to go through different profiles, select one, and then have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session and receive a full report after that. And I decided to price it at $1,997 and focus it on small, medium businesses. I came up with the name of AI Masters for the branding. Was it a good name? Was it a bad name? Who cares? It was time to get started with the 30 minute prep and I had to be super smart about how I used that time. So the first thing I did was to find the AI experts and scrape their profile to get all the information, their name, their title, and their bio. And so I grabbed that info and I put it inside a Google Sheet and I also downloaded their profile pictures. Then I took a little moment to draw out the landing page and to structure the offer itself. Then I went into Notion and started writing the website copy so I could have it on hand to be able to populate the website when I built it. And that's when I realized that those 30 minutes had run out. I didn't have a logo. I didn't have icons, illustrations. In my head, I could already see Leroy laughing at me. And frankly, at this point, I started freaking out. But this was not the time to lose faith, my friends. So I had two shots of espresso and got myself ready for the journey ahead. On your marks, get set, go. Now the first thing I did was open Wix Studios, which was the tool I was gonna use to build this out. I created a new project and my first cheat code was to use a template. So I checked out the different templates, found one that might look good for a tech startup, and without even previewing it, I just selected it. Now the first thing I did was just change the name of the logo to AI Masters and started to replace the copy with the one I had written for my startup. So I started with my headline, I then replaced the subtitle, I then went to the next section, which seemed like I would be able to reuse this section because it had some of the elements I was looking for. I just had to replace some of the copy, chose to delete some of the elements that I wouldn't be using. And this was going to be my how it works section. Because the next section didn't work for what I was trying to create, I went to a different page, found a section that did work for that, imported that into the page, positioned it in the right place, and then started replacing the text for that section as well with the copywriting I had created inside Notion. I then deleted the section I didn't actually need, and I continued going down, adapting the landing page exactly with the copy and sections that I had created inside my preparation doc. And just like that, I had finished my landing page. The problem was, that I had already spent 21 minutes in doing that. And with some of the more complex parts of the build still ahead of me, I was starting to get worried. I then went into the pages and deleted all the unnecessary pages that I would not be using because now I was going to have to build out the experts page. I used a CMS and I actually used one of the templates that they had as a CMS, which was for team members. I added that and it added two different pages. One which was the page that showed all of the experts and the other one was the page that showed each expert's profile. And then I populated the CMS, and then I added all the information about the experts, the picture, the bio, the name, the specialty, and deleted any fields that I didn't actually need. I then went to the individual profile pages and added a button that would click to check out. And after fine tuning some of the design elements, I had the profile pages. Now, if you too wanna build your website, app, or launch a startup, but you don't know how to code, then check out our free course that'll teach you how to launch your tech startup with no coding skills.
but I only had 21 minutes left and I had to create the booking system, add the payments, optimize it for mobile devices, attach the domain and go live. But don't worry, I had something up my sleeve. I knew that Wix Studio had a built-in booking system that I could instantly connect to Stripe and create services to charge directly through the platform, but still 21 minutes. So I quickly went in and added that element and it automatically created the checkout, the cart, the booking system, and now I had to determine the services that I wanted to use. So I selected the single session consultation call, adapted the design and copywriting for the services section, and now I had to go through the entire project and start connecting all the buttons. I wanted all of the higher now buttons that I had on the profiles to lead to the services page where people could check out. I realized the checkout design was not that great and adapted a couple pieces. Yes, my friends, it was working, but I only had nine minutes left to get it live, and I still had to make it optimized for mobile devices and then connected to a domain so it would go live. And this is when I used another cheat code. Wix Studio has this amazing AI feature that you can literally just click on and it's going to adapt the design of your website so that it's compatible with all devices. So I clicked on that and the crazy thing is that it actually worked. So I clicked on publish, attached the domain and it worked. Fireworks, confetti everywhere, the red carpet rolled out, a glass of champagne appeared in my hand and I felt the full glory of victory. But seriously, I just launched a startup in 59 minutes, but more importantly than the riches and the fame and the glory of winning this challenge, Leroy was gonna have to be my assistant for a week. But unfortunately, I very quickly realized that having an assistant in the Netherlands was not ideal. Leroy! Why don't you create the thumbnail for my next YouTube video? Really, this is what you want me to post. Okay, scrap that. And every time I asked him to schedule a meeting for me, he did it in the wrong time zone. So I had to fire my free assistant. Sorry, Leroy. Instead, I built my own AI assistant in less than 30 minutes, leveraging this incredibly powerful no-code tool. So make sure to check out that video if you wanna save several hours a week. Let's go.